What's up guys, this is Sunny back with another video. Today real quick, I wanna share with you guys one more product from Gamdius. So Gamdius were nice enough to send me two products. The case we have here, Gamdius Athena M2 Meteor RGB case. This case comes with mesh front panel, three RGB fans with hub, tempered glass. It's a pretty good case for around $100. If you guys wanna watch a dedicated video on this case, there'll be a link uh, up here so don't forget to check out or in the video's description now today we also have here game ds chan m2 cpu liquid cooler this cooler also comes with rgb trio uh, fans right here 120 millimeter rgb on the cooler and also comes with dedicated hub for the rgb and fan and also a remote controller now the reason i like the dedicated rgb hub and a remote controller let's put this way if you have an older system and you don't have RGB header on your motherboard like 5 bolt 3 pin headers then you can actually use this because you don't need RGB header for this cooler you can use the remote controller to control the RGB and the fans so you are good now I personally like to use the remote controller for controlling the RGB and the fans because I dual boot I'm running Windows on one drive and Mac OS on the other drive and GameDS doesn't have software for Mac OS so whenever I'm using Mac OS and I want to turn off the uh, RGB LED lights or I want to lower the fan speed I can easily do that with the remote controller so today real quick I want to try this cooler with my AMD Ryzen 3 3100 CPU currently Ryzen 3 3100 CPU overclocked to uh, 4.2 GHz but I want to push that CPU to maybe 4.3 GHz or 4.4 GHz I don't think 4.4 is possible but I think I can hit 4.3 GHz and I want to see how this cooler handle the CPU so you guys can see this cooler works with uh, Asus motherboard with Asus RGB software Asus Aura Sync and then Gigabyte motherboard RGB Fusion 2.0 Biostar Vivid uh, LED DJ uh, we have SROC Polychrome Sync and then MSI Mystic Light Sync so if you have one of these motherboards you can actually use the motherboard RGB software and you can control the RGB so let's jump in and uh, do a quick unboxing for you guys all right guys so right after you open the box the first thing we have here intel and amd socket uh kit right here all right we have here uh hub and the remote controller so here we have the remote controller basically with this uh remote right here we can control fan speed we can change rgb color uh, we can lower the rgb uh, led uh, brightness and we can do a lot more and then we have the hub itself here this hub does support eight uh, gmd 120 millimeter rgb fans and you can also power this hub with a setup power right here and then we have some uh, cables here for the hub and we have uh, magnet right here you can easily glue the magnet to the hub and you can actually uh, install this uh, hub uh, anywhere all right so this cooler comes with two ULS M2 fans as you guys can see right here and this fan speed around 800 to 1800 and I believe around uh, 15 to uh, 29 uh, dva so these fans are not all that loud you can also lower the fan speed with the remote controller and then we have the cooler itself here so here is the 240 millimeter aluminum radiator flat black does come with a teflon tube right here these are braided really nice and also we have a pump with the copper plate and we have here one cable for the uh, hub and one cable for the pump simple as that so real quick let's install this cooler
All right, guys, so you guys can see finally I'm done installing GameDS Shine M2 240R CPU liquid cooler. And this cooler is really nice. If you guys are into RGB, then this cooler should be on your list. I did manage to overclock my Ryzen 3 3100 to around 4.3 gigahertz. And the system is running pretty stable. I had to dial around 1.35 volt. And I have Ryzen Master open here and also I have CPU Z open. So let's run Cinebench real quick, Cinebench R20. All right, so Cinebench R20 is currently running and the temperature we have right now under load 72 Celsius, still 72 Celsius. And you guys can hear the fan noise. So the microphone is like 10 inches away from the case. Seventy four Celsius right now. You guys can hear the fan noise from the side. Microphone is like 10 inches away from the case. Now Cinebench R20 test is done. And the score we got around 2574 not bad at all and we're back to idle temperature again 34 celsius so let me show you guys the remote real quick so with the remote you can control a lot of stuff uh, like you can uh, turn off the led rgb lights you can turn it back on and let me just ramp the fan up all the way so you guys can hear how loud is the fan so Here we go. Max fan speed. And then here we go. Lowest. And then you can also change color with the remote like red, green, blue. You know, I can uh, change the style, the RGB speed, um, and then if you go to memory, you can change, yeah. So yeah, you can do a lot with this uh, remote. Uh, let me just bring it back right here, that's my favorite. You can also uh, adjust the brightness, so I can adjust the brightness with the remote. Alright guys, so overall GameDS Chan M2 240R CP Liquid Cooler is pretty good. Alright guys, so let me know what you guys think. There will be a link in the video's description. Don't forget to check out. And if you guys do like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe.